Welcome along to your Tuesday and your forecast on the World Wide Web at newsforjacks.com and just to holler away at Alexa. Forecast for today, southeast Georgia, mainly in the 60s, mid to upper 60s, cloudy skies and the spotty chance for some showers, about 20 to 30 percent. Now south of that Florida Georgia line, there's where the wet weather resides. We'll have a 40 percent chance for wet weather, scattered showers, even light rain with daytime highs that will top out in the 60s and even some lower 70s. We start off with the fog, the dense fog advisory, locally through 9 o'clock. After that, the skies become cloudy, and it's under those cloudy skies where more rain will fall. We'll start off with tracking some showers this morning, and we'll continue to track those showers throughout the afternoon and evening forecast. John and Rebecca will be taking you through that this afternoon. It looks like most of the rainfall and even the rainfall numbers, the higher volumes, are going to be inside of our Florida zones, anywhere from our beaches, St. John's County, Duval County, Flagler, and then moving in through Clay and Putnam County. In southeast Georgia, the way that the low pressure area is setting up and the trough is setting up, you're still going to see the scattered showers, but it looks like the concentration is going to be in our Florida zones. Afternoon highs will top out, as I mentioned, in the upper 60s here locally, even some 70s inside of our Florida zones, mainly 60s southeast Georgia. But all of us warming up over the next couple of days, 70s, even approaching the mid to upper 70s on Friday. We've got a cold front coming through. It will breeze in and out. It will exit our forecast circle and out over the open water by late Friday afternoon, early evening behind it. It's going to turn chilly and breezy once again with daytime highs shy of a seasonal trend, which should be in the mid to upper 60s. We'll find 50s and Sunday, even Monday, we may wake up to a little bit of frost and or freeze conditions. That's your forecast on the World Wide Web at newsforjacks.com.